Hey guys, welcome back to another hair tutorial here on my channel. My name is Shantae and welcome back to putting up with the pom pom. So in this hair tutorial, I installed these at Passion Twists. It was time for me to put my hair up because I was tired of styling it and playing in it. And crochet hairstyles are probably my favorite go-to hairstyle. They're simple, they're easy, and they're quick to do, honey. So in this video, we're going to talk about the longevity, the quality of these Passion Twists, as well as the versatility. Let's get into it. If you are new to our channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button located right below this video. We are a mother-daughter YouTube channel talking about hairstyles, hair routine, and our hair maintenance. If you are a returning subscriber, hey bestie, hey friend, hey sis, hope you are being blessed and safe as always. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. Y'all see that afro? She is growing in a prospering all right the fullness the thickness i am loving everything about her the hair growth journey has been amazing this is going on two years since my last big chop and when i say big chop homegirl i was bald out here all right and the growth has been astronomical absolutely so i'm starting off with a straight back part starting from the front of the forehead and all the way back um this is the best way for me to make sure that my braids are going to be straight because sometimes i'll be doing some slanted and some crookedness i don't know what it is i cannot do a straight part to save my life so i always start in the middle just to make sure that the rest of the braids follow suit so i'm starting off doing a probably about a medium size braid and originally i was going to do the individuals where you kind of like square off a couple of uh, hair pieces in the middle to kind of make that individual look yeah that was the plan it, it did not it did not go through it did not at all so my hair is very much thick and I guess it is thicker than I thought it was and I'm excited thinking I'm about to slay this real quick so all I'm doing is just creating single plaits and we're going to connect those single plaits together I think the connecting the single plaits together was where I messed up at All right, so here I am creating the second plait, and as I braid it, I just simply take the other one right in the front and add it right on in and continue braiding down as my single plait. Um, it just wasn't working for me. I don't know what it was. It was not working for me. So then I move on to uh, the third one. I didn't even know how many single plaits I was going to do, but once I got to that third one, I realized this one it i'm not sure what it was but it just looked very bulky i couldn't really see the lines at least to me i don't know on camera now that i'm looking at it it doesn't look as bad but while i was looking in that mirror it just didn't look right so i ended up taking it out and i was like you know what i'm gonna do a just a regular corn roll because to me it was just it looked like it, it the parts just wasn't definitive enough i don't know if the it's the thin hair girls that are doing this and it's working for them but the thick hair girls it i don't i don't see it working and then trying to combine all that hair into the next plaque was also a headache for me and it just seemed like it was taking longer than it wanted to be and y'all know I love simplicity but I also like quick and easy all right so I just ended up doing some regular corn rolls after I took out those two plaits luckily I only made it to braid number one and I didn't go no further because I would have been mad if I would have made it to the installate installing those twists and I realized that I didn't like the pattern now the pattern may work for you I just didn't I didn't see it worth being worth it for me All right, I'm gonna go ahead and speed this along because this ain't a tutorial on teaching you how to corn roll. I'm sorry, babe, it, it's not. But this is pretty much what it looks like after I have braided everything straight back. And I mean, literally straight back. This is the simplest base that you will ever do. Then I'm gonna go in with my BTL hair and scalp oil and I'm gonna oil my scalp real quick. I love the way this smells. It smells like mangoes, okay, it's summertime. I'm trying to smell like a tropical rainforest out here. Now I'm going through each and every braid to oil my scalp real quick and I love that it's lightweight so it doesn't feel like it's clogging up your your pores on the scalp or anything like that or you don't feel that build up of the oil and then with those uh, two braids that I have left I am just crocheting those back up into the corn roll so they're not hanging out and about and I just kind of tuck it away and that's pretty much it everything has been connected and I'm only left with these two braids that I have to deal with and that's because I do my style in two halves all right I didn't record that part I apologize and then this is with the base of 
the braids look like everything is flat and smooth and now it is time to install our twist this is in the middle of the night so i was definitely tired and ready to go to bed so here is my pack of hair that i received off of amazon these passion twists were super cute i received six packs of 12 inch passion twists and i got the color t30 so it has these dark roots with this nice highlight at the end which is like a brown color nice auburn color the twists were very springy and soft they didn't have no odor to them because sometimes you can receive some hair and it might smell a little funky it had a nice curl on the ends to seal the twist together and it came with 12 strands in each pack and i pretty much used all six packs to install into my hair So to install my passion twist, I always start in the back and then work my way to the front. I'm very sparse on the ones that I put in the back and I try to be a little bit more heavier on placing the twist in the front. So I crochet downward to how I want the twist to fall. So I don't go in from the bottom of the braid. I go in from the top and then crochet it through the braid. And I just take the twist at the end and pull it through the hole that's it now for my thicker parts of my braid like the back for example I do not go through the entire corn roll because that can be very painful I just kind of pick like a small piece of the braid usually like a strand and I crochet through it like half of it versus going through the entire braid now once I work my way up to the front those braids are a lot more smaller so it's a little easier to work the needle through the entire braid but Definitely those ones in the back where, yeah, don't try to crochet the entire braid. Try to do like a piece of the braid just to kind of get it through because it can be painful trying to tighten it. So I fast forward through all of that and this is what we are looking like at the end. She has the fullness and the thickness that I like. Most of the cornrows are pretty much filled in. Now I did this late at night so I'm pretty sure I got some gaps back there, especially at the top of the head. I do try to make sure that I keep the top of the head filled with a lot of twists. Um, but this is what I had left over and I ended up using those because I did find those gaps that I did have at the top of the head and I had to fill those in real quick. But it was no biggie. And now I'm going to go in with some BTL anti-itch spray. So this stuff was also sent to me probably a couple weeks ago. And it's supposed to be for your braids and stuff when you're experiencing like that itchiness. It's supposed to have like this cooling sensation. This is my first time trying it out. So I had no clue what to expect. Um, it didn't smell the best either. It has like that, you know, icy hot kind of smell to it. Like whatever they put in icy hot, it has that kind of smell and it woke my ass the hell up i will say that um and now they gave me two they gave me a green bottle and a yellow bottle i don't know what exactly was the difference was because when i read the instructions they both pretty much do the same thing you spray onto the scalp and it's supposed to give you like this tingling sensation and it does it feels like this nice cooling sensation it, it, it felt good especially after getting some braids just done so i give it you know it was all right All right, guys, so that completes this tutorial for these uh, passion twists. And I will say that there's just been a passion twist style that I did not like. Like, passion twists are just so versatile. They look great on everybody. Um, I really love the, the touch with the curls at the end. I think those are pretty cute. I've worn it for a couple of days now, and they haven't, like, gotten, like, super frizzy or anything like that, or, like, started unraveling or anything. So I think they'll hold up pretty well as far as longevity, because I know I love to talk about longevity, whether or not a style is going to hold its worth. Now, for me, I usually don't keep, like, a protective style like this for no more than two to three weeks, just because I wash my hair on the weekly basis and my scalp knows when it's time for me by that two week mark I'm usually getting a little itchy a little antsy and then definitely by week three my scalp is done for I have product build up from the gel um, from reapplying oils all that stuff my scalp is screaming for a while there's not a hair routine that's like a one-size-fits-all kind of thing you have to know your hair and that's going to take trial and error and actually caring for it we're gonna talk about longevity it's a yes for me so far. I definitely, it, I, it'll definitely hold up for its two to 
three weeks passion twists like these i don't usually have to experience any problems the only time that i probably would say the longevity could be a little shanky is if you're doing it individually because of course your hair can start to poke out through the twist um as far as the quality of these twists i love them i love the springiness of passion twists that has always been my favorite thing about these hairstyle this hairstyle i love the color that they have on the tips it just adds like a little bit of subtle subtle like hair you know a little bit of pop to the hair without it being overbearing and we're gonna also talk about versatility so now i did a basic um just straight corn back cornrows um, I tried to do the little individual little squares, but, but that's not to say that I'm still not able to throw my hair up into a different style. So of course I have where I can do different parts. I can do a middle part, I can do my side part. Now I didn't lay my edges on this side, so don't judge me, but I can move my braids around if I wanted to, just to give a different like kind of part look. Move them all to one side if I wanted to, which I've been wearing it like this for a while. Now, the other day at work, I kind of did a little twist and that's just me sitting here just playing with it, not me actually like being serious and trying to style it. But I took like some little twists and I just kind of like twisted them all together, kind of keeping the twist out of my hair and I just pinned it back just like that. Something, something like this, just to kind of like keep the hair out of my face. But yeah, there's definitely still different ways to wear it. So versatility is definitely there. So this is an all around A plus hairstyle for me. Thank you guys for joining us on another video. We will see y'all on another one. Do not forget to hit the like button for this video and comment down below anything you would love to see more here on our channel. We greatly appreciate having y'all. Be blessed and be safe.